hi guys and welcome back to my channel on this very small corner of the internet where i make videos all about avon thank you so much for joining me here today as you will see from the title today is something a little bit different now i've been really looking forward to this for quite a few months i've had this kind of in the works i wanted to take a good look at makeup things from avon that nobody ever talks about that's no i never hear reps talk about them and i never hear customers talk about them i wanted to take a good look at just a few things that nobody ever talks about and to put them out there on the internet to put them to the test and to talk about these them. things aren't particularly new to avon things that have been featured in the book some of them for years still i never hear anybody talk about them so i could not resist i have got five products that i am putting to the test of course this is just my experience if you are a rep and you have talked about these products and your customers do buy them please let me know my eyes are quite sore today i use the the nutri effects matte micellar water to take my makeup off and honestly it's really kind of hurt my eyes in the corner i will do is put a list of all the products in the description box which if you don't know where that is on my video underneath next to the title there will be a little upside down arrowhead if you click on that that will bring up the description box in there i'll put some more details about these products and prices and things like i'm that. really excited about this because i have never heard anybody talk about this this is the mark moose foundation i have seen this in the book all the time but you know when you just never look at stuff you never normally pick things out this comes in a lovely little jar this is in the shade Shell. I'm hoping that that is going to be a nice match. I think it might be. I think that's actually going to be a nice match. Ooh, it's nice and soft. So it is definitely moussey. Smells nice. This is definitely quite light coverage you could probably build this up a little bit but it's actually quite light i'm gonna go in with my regular concealer which is the mark matte concealer this is in the shade fair i think this is the shade one of the shades that's been discontinued i think if you don't mind seeing a little bit of skin coming through under your foundation then this one will be a good one for you so the next product that i'm going to use i have absolutely no expectations of this whatsoever this is the anu transforming brow filler and now this looks really interesting and i think this has got a full page feature in september's brochure apply to brows to fill in sparse areas and enhance shape to use twist base to activate the product so it looks like this it's got like really strange little teeth you can see better if i hold it there and i'm hoping we're gonna start to see the product come down so i'm just pulling this through my brows taking a little bit of time to dry but that actually looks quite nice i'm just very quickly going to apply a little bit of eyeshadow to the eye eyelash to the eyes this is the sandstorm palette just this shade here and just pop a little bit of this on the lids got a whole week off work which is just so nice so i'm going to be filming lots of videos i've got some halloween videos coming up which i'm so excited about next product is again from the anu line this is the anu lash transforming mascara and serum this is a serum and a mascara now there isn't a lot of information about this online it says on the back draw a thin line of the serum along the base of the upper lash line and allow to dry Step two, apply the mascara to the upper and lower lashes. There isn't a lot in the book or online about what that serum actually does. Um, I'm assuming it's probably going to be some sort of coating agent for your eyelashes. It's not like a comb on primer. I wonder if this is supposed to be like a growth booster. So we don't really know what this is supposed to be doing. I am going to have a bit of a better look into it. Oh, stinging. Oh, it's really stinging. I'm just going to wipe it off with my finger. 
I'm just going to put a bit more eyeshadow back on. Ah, that's really stinging. Right, I'm not going to use that. And I'm probably not going to use that again. It might be because my eyes are a little bit sensitive. I use that matte micellar water and it's kind of made my eyes a bit sore. All right, so I'm going to use the mascara end and hope that this is all good. Oh, okay. So it's a nice plasticky comb. Oh, that's really nice. This seems to be a little bit more lengthening as opposed to thickening and volumizing. It's actually a really good brush. Look at those eyelashes, that's two coats. Why is nobody talking about this mascara? This is fantastic. I really like this. We are really throwing it back with most foundation and bronzing pearls. Nobody ever talks about these. Uh, they are just good old fashioned bronzing pearls. I used to love these from the body shop. I think I had them from Avon as well because they were just like, when you were, when you were a teenager, this was just the thing that you wore. Swirl a brush over pearls, apply all over face and blend evenly. All right, let's do this. This is in the shade Warm Glow. I think it's the more matte version. And for this, I've got my trusty Avon Kabuki brush. This is so nice. You get 22 grams. Wow, that, that is amazing. It's such good value for money. Uh, let's do this by comparison. So the Lisa Armstrong bronzer, I think is, is nine grams, 12 to 16 pounds. This, I think these were a fiver. Oh, look at those beautiful pearls. Oh no, I've dropped one on the floor. You drop one and your cat steps on it. Or if you step on it, then you've got bronzing pearl all over your beige carpet. Tip it in, give it a bit of a tap off. The packaging feels a little bit cheap. Of course, it is only a few quid, so there's got to be a compromise somewhere. Now, my last product is Avon True Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Sundance. Oh, this looks beautiful. How satisfying is that? So I never really hear anybody talk about these lip glosses. So I want to put one to the test. I feel like this turned into a bit of a 90s makeup throwback with like a brownie bronzy lip gloss and a brownie bronzy cheek with bronzing pearls. These are super super cheap. Why would you go and spend 10 quid from other brands on the high street when you can get these for about £3.50? So that is my finished look with all the products that nobody ever talks about. I hope that I've given them a fair test and maybe introduced you to something that you may never have looked at before in the book. I think for me the winners are the bronzing pearls and the lip gloss, the mascara, which is fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment and like and subscribe. And if you have any video requests, please leave them below. If you are a rep, please feel free to share this video with anybody that you so wish. And I'll see you really soon. Bye.